What do you get walking down the street? Somebody says something to you. Hey, Heisenberg! Always. Yeah, I get the Heisenberg a lot. Even though you don't look like him. Well, You maybe, don't get Hal from Malcolm in the Middle because that would be yeah. the view. That would be the look. Not so much anymore. But you know what? Uh, I, I had a, 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 a porter in, in an a airport one time. He, he looked at me and he goes, I know you. You, you, the dad from Malcolm X. <laughs> you in Malcolm X. I go, I'm in Malcolm X. You were Malcolm X. You funny. You funny in Malcolm X. But so you get that normally, though, that they want to know about Breaking Bad. I want to about Breaking Bad a lot about that. Some Seinfeld, you know, and then, you know, I get that a lot. Like an anti-dentite, you know. So I get I get some of that, and then I get a little bit of how, but mostly mostly breaking back. I I told the Dan Ants though to one to further ap appreciate uh, Walter, to watch you as Hal and Malcolm in the Middle. How tough was it to get them to believe you could be that kind of character? You know the audition process there. If I had a very lucky break, uh, I had got a, a job as a guest star on X Files, and the writer producer at that on that episode happened to be Vince Gilligan. And that was ten, almost ten years before Malcolm in the Middle. So I did the just the job. I go off. I do Malcolm in the Middle. Malcolm stops shooting. We're done for our seven-year run, and up comes this thing. He says, a, "A guy knows you, Vince Gilligan. You worked with him." And I go, "Eh, I don't know. I don't know who that is." <laughs> he goes, "He says, well, he wants to see you for a thing called Breaking Bad." I go, "What does that mean?" It's a colloquialism. He's a nice Virginia gentleman. And so I, uh, I went, okay, and I read this, and it's phenomenal. And it worked out, but only because he was my champion to, to get that role. Because they, they were saying, what, the goofy dad from Malcolm to play Walter White? No, I don't, that's, that's not a good idea. But when you read that, was there an episode that made you, like, squirm a little bit? Like, the, are we going too far with this? Or could Walter go too far on Breaking Bad? You know, it was held in such gentle hands by Vince. He agonized over every second of that thing. In fact, it, whenever he directed our show and he was asked a question and he was wondering specifically, he would literally tap his forehead like, oh, is that is that the right thing? And Do I have it all? Do I have it all? You know, and he would agonize over that. And, you know, the color, if, if Skyler's toenail polish is red, he would agonize over what shade of red. It was like, oh, my God. I mean, to that point, it was, uh, and that's why it became what it is, because of his attention to detail. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.